Ready or not, it's time for our next step in the build. Can you see Owen? Does it look like it's going to go in? A visit from a friend gives us some extra muscle to bring in our sliding glass doors. We got the door out and immediately dropped the chatter. It. And they're just a little bigger than we anticipated. Oh, Lord. After the doors are in the house, we're ready to finish the last two windows. They are our final windows. Since we've done 14 windows already, it'll be like bing, bang. Yeah, bang, we know bang, how to bang. do this. We take small steps forward each day, knowing it gets us closer to our dream of moving into our self built house and telling the world that I built this house. Follow along as we install our final windows in our cabin in the woods. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. Are you gonna help mom get him inside? I'm not here to criticize the risk. All I am is a friend. Hey, Owen. Yeah. Hand me my glove and my hammer. Sure. There you go, sir. Thank you. Yeah, if you can get them both sides like that. There we go. Yeah, is it three or four? I don't, there's a bunch of stuff in there. It's like a little treasure trove. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I figure we'll just move everything inside. Hi, Marley. Does this have, it has even a handle yeah. here? Yeah. Cool. I know. It says it's just a two person lift, so yeah. I'm out of here. You want me on the other side? We got the door out and immediately dropped the chatter. It. You got the hard work stepping up the hill. I'm going. Okay. Uh, I saw the vision and now I'm not seeing it anymore. We could bring that set it there so mm -hmm. that we could like try to get it up on top of that so it one, two, three. Uh, those are real. Oh. Ryan, I wonder if you guide down on this side and then I can just muscle it in and Sarah can help me steady it. Can you see Owen? Does it look like it's gonna go Will in? Will we go um, in up above? Oh uh, yeah. Oh Lord. Uh, okay. We are in the house. Uh, yesterday, Andrew showed up, which is great. I think I just saw him flop to the ground. <laughs> he helped us bring in the doors, which was a great help because I don't, Ryan and I could have figured it out. We always do. And they're, they're way heavier than we thought. They were way heavier than they, we thought they were gonna be. And they didn't fit 
nicely through the opening. Vertically. Today the big goal is to get the big door in that goes into our master bedroom. Yeah, so we have to raise it up onto the loft level mm -hmm. and we're figuring out still the best way to do that. Yeah. and We've discussed using a pulley. Yeah, there's a talk of a pulley. We're going to try to actually put it onto a higher up level than the next level. So we've got some ideas in place and we'll see how it goes. And that's really our only big goal for today because we have to think of what we really need help with when we have a third person here. Yep. So, and this is definitely- One of those times. We're gonna need stairs if it's just me and Ryan bringing it up and we don't have those yet. They are our final windows. After this, we only have doors to move on to, which has become more of a project than we've anticipated already because we found out all the doors have flanges on them, just like windows, so. Which we probably should have known. Yeah, it's all stuff. It's like, you should know that, but we didn't. And um, so all of, we have two giant doors inside of our house now, but we have to install them from the outside. But there's yeah. no reason to dwell on that too much today. Yeah because it's not the task at hand. So today, we're, we're putting just, it in windows. Yeah, it's something we're gonna be totally successful at. Yeah, the buck uh, is built in the one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna start building the sill. Sarah is going to build the buck in the last one. Then we'll probably put in the window and then build the sill and put in the other window. Yeah, and it'll be like bing, bang. Yeah, bing, we know bing, how bing, to bing, do bang. this. We've done it a number of times now. Mm -hmm. So it, there shouldn't be any issue. All right, let's do it. And then we can dwell. On the on doors. The doors. <laughs> but we'll do that later. <laughs>
You can help us put in a window. Okay. All right, we need nails, hammer. I need shim. So since we've put in 15 of our 16 windows now, I thought I would give you guys a little insight in how we've been building our sill. We've been using the standard uh, three and three quarter inch zip tape to build our sills. There are some products that zip tape makes that does a, is a six inch wide that basically would cover your entire sill. And then they also have a stretch tape that gets you a continuous circle around the corners. So you can kind of stretch that, it has some give. So we didn't use that product um, and they didn't have that at our local store. So DuPont makes a product that's very similar to that. So what I've been doing is putting down a strip of this flex tape. You can see it has uh, this kind of like uh, texture on it and it goes in the corner here and then it, it allows you to create a continuous seal around that corner. And then I've been just using the standard zip tape to build the rest of the sill. So I'll walk you through how we've been building that and hopefully it might be helpful if you're putting it in windows anytime. So I'm just gonna put this little piece here into the corner. You can see there's a two-part adhesive here. So I'm gonna take off the first one and attach it. Make sure get down there right in the corner. Push it down in the corner here. And then I'll do the, the same thing on the other side. Now that I have those, uh, those two flex tapes on, I'm gonna build the first layer of the sill with my zip tape. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it come down to past the edge of the, the log wall here so that any rain coming off, even though I've uh, caulked this area here, I want, it to, uh, I want it to shingle off onto the log wall. I'll do a first layer that is pretty thin up here, and then I'll do a second layer on the top that will cover the entire cell. Use our little edge tool here. Just, just our speed square. Some would call it a speed square. And, and then I'm gonna cut a slit horizontally. And then we're gonna kind of like fold it and stretch it all at the same time. So now using the combination of the stretch tape and the horizontal layer and the vertical layer to build the sill. We've got these corners pretty well sealed. So then the last step is do the same thing on this side and then we'll complete the sill by putting a piece of zip tape all the way across the, the face of the sill and we will be ready to put windows in. That is how you build a sill. Ready? Yep.